Right, okay, thank you for joining the Average Golfer out here at Conway Golf Club in absolute glorious sunshine. I'll take my glove off for a second. I'm about to hit the ball very, very shortly. Uh, I've been testing here all week, and have you ever heard uh, someone from the UK complain it's too hot at 10 o'clock in the morning as well? Anyway, what are we here for? Well, this video is all about the Epic Flash Hybrid. Let's take the cover off. It deserves to be out of its cover. In my eyes, it's one of the best looking hybrids that's ever hit the market. Here's some images, see what you think. I mean, one of the things that appeals to some and not to others is on the crown, this sort of, uh, this imprinted carbon crown that we've seen on uh, on all of the drivers, the epic drivers in recent years. I really like the way it looks. But what I like about it is its sleekness at a dress as well. This is uh, fairly shallow. Uh, I think uh, the Callaway themselves have said it sits between uh, the Big Bertha and the, um, and the Apex in terms of their hybrid range and I would say it does in terms of profile as well but for me it's bang on the Apex was a little bit too small the uh, Big Bertha a little bit on the bulky side this sits absolutely perfect it shallows off on the back end and uh, whether you like the underneath or not it doesn't really make a great deal of difference because you don't see a great deal of that but anyway it looks superb I've got a four hybrid 21 degrees but it's adjustable it's adjustable two degrees up and uh, perhaps is it two degrees down I'm not 100% sure I uh, should know that but the point is it's a quality product it's coming in at a quality premium price what's packed into it As you see from the images that are thrown up there, I never like to go too much into detail because let's be honest, every manufacturer will sell a similar story. It's about ball speed and it's about forgiveness. How each company uh, achieves that differs slightly, but ultimately it's all about what happens when you get out here on the golf course. And that's exactly what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna stop talking. We're gonna get some real proper feedback from situations that you find yourself out there on the golf course and then we'll come back here and I'll give you my overall assessments of this uh, epic flash hybrid. It's unreal ball flight, there's so much power in that, I mean that's gone. It's, it's left a fairway, you know, you can see that and it's still rolling, still rolling, still rolling. We're a bit downwind so uh, it's an absolute perfect weapon for this type of golf course right now if you can get that ball flight uh, as first strike. This, Thing has literally come out of the wrapper. Uh, you'll see some other balls in the fairway. That's uh, a bit five iron off this tee as well for a, a different video on the Epic Flash Irons. Uh, but that was unreal in terms of how that felt out the face. Um, they, it's just that's got some power packed into that. I'm saying no more because uh, literally, let's hit, let's find another tee position. That's a great start though. thing goes for miles absolute miles I leaked it out a bit down the right uh, but in terms of picking it up again you'll see if you've watched both videos of the flash irons and the uh, and the hybrid today uh, I've teed off and, and hit from some similar positions I've just hit seven iron in the flash irons again uh, from that position but unreal how it picks the ball up again off a very very tight lie incredible ball flight uh, we're slightly down breeze and it'll be interesting to see like I said when I switch this round and we're going the opposite way but that has absolutely traveled for miles and don't forget this is a 21 degree four hybrid right so perfect scenario for a hybrid i think most people one of the main reasons they'll put hybrid in the bag amongst other things is to play it from a little bit of a lie in the rough and this isn't particularly heavy don't get me wrong but we're going to play uh, the you can probably just see the 200 yard marker we're into the breeze this is a perfect shot to try and see what i can do at least with this epic flash Well, if anything, that's absolutely flu, and I think it's too big. It's bulleted out the rough. I mean, the ball flight was a little bit lower, and again, perhaps coming out that rough again, just uh, killed that ball flight, just like I said, just picked it, didn't pick it up quite as high as they have done on previous shots. 
but we'll go and see where that one's finished up. Now, <clears throat> I've put the uh, camera position where it is because flag was playing probably about 198, I think I added that. We probably carried that, and don't forget that's into the wind. That's got to have, well, we've run out there about 240. It's a powerful hybrid, this thing, and something you'd have to get used to in terms of that yardage. I came out off that face like an absolute bullet, I tell you. Now, anyone who plays Conway Golf Club will tell you the same. Holes 16 and 17 are a very, very tight finish to your round. And in a position like this, what I like, I don't know about you, but I like a bit of a go-to club. Something that I've got confidence with. And I would normally choose something like a three wood. I'm like in the mini driver right now, or perhaps even a long iron. But a hybrid would certainly, this is where this epic flash hybrid for me, the, the carries, the distances that I'm achieving, I see it as a club that I can play from the tee and a bit of a go-to club, maybe. Let's see how we get on 16. So you want to be, uh, ideally, left of centre. Well, I certainly do, and you're left of centre uh, in it canvas from left to right. Left, you're dead, right, you're dead. You have a lot of options, does it? Sits beautiful behind the ball, the, um, the epic hybrid. Um, it really does. Oh, wow, that's the best strike of it today. Wow. Now, again, it's been difficult in terms of ball flight. We're either into the sun or against it, and I'm afraid you mightn't pick that one up, and I'm certainly be in the shadow right now. Uh, I don't know whether you can tell from sound, but it was absolute pure out the middle. I've got to say, I mean, I'm loving this right now. It's um, first few shots. I'm not swinging the club that great today. That was probably the best uh, ball contact I've had, club on ball. Um, but I have to say, on every occasion, it's done a job for me. We're into the breeze here, and again, I would suggest that's done a fair bit of travel. Right, as you know, I'm always keen on some feedback, and what I want to know from you is, uh, are you gaming a hybrid? And if you are, which one have you got in the bag? How would you find it? And, and where do you use it, I suppose, as well? I mean, how reliant are you on a hybrid nowadays? Because it tends to be, for an average golfer, it's pretty much a bit of a go-to club, I think. Well, I nearly cursed myself by starting a commentary before I hit the ball, but I thought I'll just wait and see how this goes. And believe me, uh, what I was going to say, if I find the fairway on 17, this might well go in the bag, because this, again, I mentioned on 16, well, 17 is even tighter. It's a real card wrecker. Aim down the left-hand side. Hopefully for a bit of cut. It cut a little bit, but it basically stayed down that left-hand side. Again, it's got a decent bit of distance on it. I would imagine that's, again, 220. The interesting thing for me is this. Um, 21 degrees, the, 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 the hybrid that I've got, the four, it goes up to a six hybrid. And I think the six hybrid, five and six hybrid, if you're struggling with your long irons, four, five and six in this are going to be a real big help to you. Because like I said, they've got a lot of power right across the club face, some unbelievable distances. And for me, it's similarities to what I said about the Mini 1 driver in terms of control off the tee. If, I could go, if I've got a go-to club that I can get sort of 220 out of, shorter shaft, small head there, bit of control over it, then it's something that inspires confidence. And that's the big deal for me. It's that control that you've got with these type of clubs, but then being able to achieve those kind of distances as well. And that's obviously all relative to what we all hit and play. Uh, but for me, that sits bang on. If I'm stood on 17 team, we've done it on 16, we've found two fairways then, that's good enough for me. Right, so round over, and I've just got to summarise on this epic flash, and I'm going to make this very, very brief indeed. It's a beast, it's a monster, it's a powerhouse of a hybrid. I can't say no more than that, really. Uh, very difficult to pick fault, go out and try it yourself is the simplest thing I could say. Uh, incredibly fast ball speeds right across the club face, and uh, great ball flight, ticks every single box. Price, down to you as always. 
Right, I'm going to make it that brief. It is as simple as that, I'm afraid. You've seen what happened out there on the course. We don't need dry ball data. We need nothing more. You've seen what happened. You've seen how it performed. I can't do any better than that. Anyway, as ever, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. If you do subscribe, hit that notifications button. Hit the like button. Get involved in the comments down below. And uh, I'll see you all very soon.